For what? To groom him. Amen. We release people too fast. Thank you, Jesus. Think about a child and a woman's giving birth. And then she gives birth early. And that baby's lungs are not fully developed. And so they're put where? In an incubator. So once those lungs are fully developed, they are put where? Out into life, out into the real world. This is how God says, I want my prophets. I want to groom you. I want to shape you. I want to train you so that you can go forth in power and anointing. Amen. And so that you don't mess up nobody else's life. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Number five, prophet back. One of my favorites. This is where a prophet sits there on that front row. Mm -hmm. The anointing's on him. His eyes are about to pop out of his head. The pastor, the leader, sees the anointing, knowing that he is what? A prophet. Yes. But he ignores him. Mm -hmm. He sits there confined. He's got all these words sucked up in him, prophetic vacuum, but he's unable to what? He's unable to release that word. And I'm here to declare to you right now, God is getting ready to sit some leaders down and he's getting ready to raise up some new leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. God is cleaning up the church and he's going to put the church back in order. He's going to have those prophets speak forth what thus says the Lord, whether the church likes it or not. Amen. Clean up time. Amen. Clean up time. Number six, prophetic awakening. That's where you need a prophet spirit to be awakened by God for what? A particular service. They all have different services. But allow the prophet to move freely up under your leadership. Yeah. Allow him to do it. But the reason why some leaders will not allow the prophets to move is because of their jealous. It's because of their own insecurity. Why? Ha, 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 ha. If I let the prophet speak, they're going to pay more attention to that prophet versus me. we got to let that go. If you know that you know that you know you've got an anointed true prophet, let him speak. God is going to break down strongholds in the church. That's right. Strongholds. Hallelujah. Number seven, parabolic prophecy. What is that? That's when God simply gives a prophet a parable, and then that prophet begins to what? Interpret that parable. What did Jesus do? He gave all kind of parables, and even his disciples were not able, amen, to interpret. Parabolic prophecies. Hallelujah. So how do we sharpen the prophetic? How do we sharpen it? Number one, through the word of God. That sharpens our gift. So let's say you open up the word of God. And the word of God says, let there be light and there is light. So what do you do? You begin to speak in tongues over that word and build yourself up. That is sharpening that prophetic gift. And it helps with accuracy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people in here are going to come up in the prophetic. Some people in here are going to come up in the prophetic. The time is now. Hallelujah. Number two, by fasting. Giving up what you don't like. All right. Giving up those Twinkies. Grits. Bisses and gravy. Chitlin, <laughs> green, sweet potato pie. Be quiet, be quiet. So that you can be sharpened in the prophetic. How bad do you want it? Come on now. How bad do you want to hear from God and know that you 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 are simply hearing from God? Come on now. Number three, by being around other prophets. That's right. When you're around a lot of prophets, what happens? You got a one prophet, you got another prophet, and another prophet. Then it sends what? An explosion all through the house of God. It's the same thing with apostles. When you got apostles and prophets in the house, there should be an explosion. There should be the supernatural that begins to flow in the house. What is the supernatural? The supernatural is the explosive, dynamic, intrinsic ability in God to do anything. All right. Amen. 
And that's what we should be flowing. Quit talking about miracle signs and wonders. Start flowing in the miracle.